What's up fam, Vinstrumentals here and today I'm here with a video I wish I didn't have to make. As you can see, this is the state of my MPC X right now. So first things first, what happens? Well it's pretty simple, I spilled some drink on my table. If you watched my previous videos, you should be familiar with this layout. If you're not, you could watch one of my latest videos, I'll place a tap right there. When I make music, I always start with the MPC X. So most of the time I'll be sitting in front of it, playing with the machine, making my sound here. All the outputs of the MPC X are connected to my mixer so that I can assign any channel, group, drum pad, whatever, to one of my channels, stereo or mono. So what I do while I'm producing, I'm already doing the mix down. When I go to the real mix down parts, I'm in front of my mixer. So here's what happened. I had a drink right there. I never do that, so I don't know why I had a drink right there. Unfortunately, I had it and it fell down. Most of the fluid fell on the table itself. It went under the... This is a little MIDI box. It went under it, a little bit fell on the front panel, but I cleaned it up. I tested everything. Everything works fine. Most of it went under here, a little bit under the MPC, under the cables, under the hard drive, and under the, UA, the UAD Apollo. Now, unfortunately, a little bit of fluid fell right here on this part, on the rectangle buttons, and a little bit on the upper row of the Q-Links and on the side. After opening it up, I noticed there was not a lot of fluid that went through, but unfortunately just enough to make the display malfunction. Here you have the display, I unscrewed it, and the display is always tilted like this. A little bit of fluid went in this little corner and it went inside. You can still see a little bit of the spots, I can try to hold the right camera angle. You can see it right here, this is the little bit sticky fluid, you can see a little mark there. So what happened was, when it happened, uh, the screen glitched for about one second, then it went total black. I unplugged the MPC and I flipped it around. After a little while, I started unscrewing it. So most of the fluid went through these little rectangular buttons and probably a little bit on the upper row of the cooling buttons. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of the fluid still sticking here inside. Now, I see that it's hard to pass through there, but you never know. It could, it could have gone through the screws here, through those potential meters. Here you can see a little spot. It's pretty clear here. This is where it went through. So I disassembled the MPC to see if I could find some fluid inside that I had to dry as quickly as possible. This is the other side of the MPCX. So the fluid went through the front panel and it probably got to the other side of this print plate, I think it's called. And the little bits went through this corner. Now, with a little bit of luck, it went right on the under panel and I saw some drops of the fluid there. I will show you in a minute. Now, before I forget, don't do this at home unless you really know what you're doing. I made a video of myself disassembling the MPCX so that I know how to put it back together afterwards. What I also did was contact Akai Support. I did that right after cleaning it up a little. This video is made to go in depth on what exactly happened. What I'm gonna do next is let it dry close to a heater at a normal temperature, room temperature in the bathroom to let it dry. I ordered some contact cleaning spray online. It should arrive tomorrow. After it's dried, I will take off this print plate. I'm going to clean as much as I can in between the print plate and the front panel because all the buttons and the Q-links are on the other side, so they're all connected. That's what all the, those ribbons are for, probably. I hope it won't be too complex in between, but I'm going to wait for the answer of Akai support to see if that's a good idea. I don't want to ruin the MPCX completely, of course. I want to fix it as quick as possible, but I don't want to break it even further. So, let's be cautious. So, this is the under panel of the disassembled MPCX. As you can see, 
right here there are some spots of the fluids so that's what I said the display was right here and it just fell down right on the under tray as you can see it's really not much fluid I personally hope not too much fluid went on one of those two circuit boards or print plates I don't know how it's called what I saw was that a little bit of fluid went right on this connector I hope that's not bad but worst case scenario I can probably order these two parts separately and change them up myself tomorrow when my contact spray cleaner arrives and everything is dried up I will start cleaning all the connectors and hope for the best so I'll keep you guys updated as soon as possible the only thing I can do right now is be patient take action and hope for the best so what I need you guys to do for me right now is send me lots of love and a lot of positive energy as much as you can put it in the comments however you want to do it and uh, fingers crossed